Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. Hey, what's going on, everybody? How you doing? Matt Antonelli here answering your questions today. Today's question is, who are the top five hitters, the best hitters that I've ever played with or against? So we're going to go through my top five list here. This is in no particular order. Just five guys that came to mind. I sat down for a little bit and thought about it. I've made a video on the top five best pitchers that I've faced or played with. Um, and hitters is a little bit tougher than the pitchers. Pitchers, you know, when I'm thinking about tough pitchers I face, I can tell literally in like five pitches, man, that guy was like, like I said, I faced Max Scherzer for three pitches. I was like, okay, that guy's legit. Hitting and judging hitters are a little bit different. You need a little bit more time around them. So it was a little bit tougher to do this one. But um, I still came up with my, my top five guys. So uh, jotted them down. Let's go here in no particular order. Although I'll put this guy number one because he probably should be number one. Uh, is Manny Ramirez. So lucky for me, um, when I was with the Padres and I made my debut, we opened up, I made my debut against the Dodgers and we played the Dodgers a lot. Um, whether it was in spring training every year, year or while I was called up, we played them a bunch and Manny Ramirez absolutely destroyed us every single time we played him. Um, I saw him hit, this is when basically he had just been traded over from the Red Sox to the Dodgers and that's kind of when I made my debut and he was it felt like he was hitting a home run every single at bat and he would hit balls everywhere he'd smash a 400 plus home run the left center field and then the next at bat he'd take us deep to center and then the next game he'd hit one the right center and he just was unbelievable it was the craziest I've ever seen it was the loudest I've ever seen a stadium go when he was hitting home runs at, at Dodger Stadium they were going berserk he was just on fire. He was a, I'd never seen anything like it in my entire career. Um, and also, he's my favorite player of all time growing up and watching him with the Red Sox. So I have to put Manny Ramirez number one. The dude is ridiculous. Uh, number two, Adrian Gonzalez. So I got to play with Adrian Gonzalez every year in spring training. And then obviously when I was up in the major leagues. And I thought that he was one of the most like complete, just professional hitters ever. Just super, super consistent use the whole field. I've told stories about his BP. Here's a dude that if he wanted to, he could hit the ball freaking 450 feet every swing pretty much in BP if he wanted to. But he used to sit in batting practice and he used to just take the ball and just hit line shots to left field. It looked like he wasn't even trying. Whack! And he'd just go line drive after line drive. And then like in the last round, somebody would come up to him and be like, hey man, you want to do a little, you know, last round home run derby? He'd be like, yeah, sure thing. And all of a sudden, he would just start being like, oh, boom. And he would start crushing balls to right center field, just blasted balls out of the park. He could do that all the time, but he was like a really, he was just a complete hitter. He knew what he had to do to be successful, and he wasn't interested in just showing off or looking cool, but he really worked on what he needed to do in the game to help him hit. Um, and he was one of the harder workers I've seen. He was always in the cage, you know, in spring training when I used to go out early to the cage, he'd always be out there working. I just, a, a, you know, did it for a year, year in and year out and year in and year out. Just a great, great hitter. Um, number three is Ryan Braun. So I got to see Ryan Braun um, in college. He played at Miami. Um, I played at Wake Forest, so we were in the same league. And also got to see him professionally, got to play against him in the major leagues. Braun was one of the guys, the few guys that I saw the very first time I saw him hit. I remember this like it was yesterday. Uh, was I was at Wake Forest. He was at Miami. He took batting practice against us. And sometimes if the other team had like a really good players, like, you know, when we played Florida State, and like Buster Posey was on their team and Stephen Drew was on their team. And like when we played Miami and Braun, you know, we played against a bunch of good players. But I, was, I would always take RBP and then I'd sit in the dugout and I'd just kind of watch those players just to kind of see what they did and how they went about their business and how they worked and all that stuff. And I remember the first time I watched Braun hit BP against us. You know, at our stadium, we had trees that surrounded the entire field, uh, the, outfield, the outfield wall. And I remember him first round. It looked like he was just kind of flicking the ball. Like in the first round of BP, you know how guys usually look like they're not trying very hard, especially major league players. 
he got up there and was just kind of like barely swinging, and he's blasting balls. He's a righty, right? To right center field, over the trees, out of the park, and he's just taking his first round. Like, oh, I'm just going to get loose here, and I'm going to hit the ball 400 plus feet to right center uh, over everything. And I watched him do that the first round, and I was like, okay, this guy's uh, probably going to have a pretty good major league career. And he ended up getting drafted. I don't remember where he went. I'm assuming it was high in the first round. And uh, obviously, he's had a big career. I know everyone's going to put that he tested positive for steroids, which I, I think he did, right? Yeah, he did. Um, but regardless, the dude raked. Um, and then I saw him do it as a professional player also. So the guy could just flat out crush balls. And he was a really good, I remember in, in college, he was a really, really, really good athlete. He could fly. They had him playing third base in college. He was pretty bad third baseman. I will say that. He wasn't a great defender. Um, ended up moving to the outfield in the big leagues. But he could really, really hit. Number four guy is Buster Posey. Uh, this might be because I've seen him on TV so much, just, you know, really, really hit well. Um, but I have a lot of experience against him, uh, not just professionally, but in college again. He went to Florida State. They're in our league. And he actually, when we played against him, he was actually a shortstop and their closer. So he'd come in and close and throw like 90 plus and he played shortstop and he fielded it great. And then he just raked. I remember he was, he was the only probably freshman that I played against in college where we were all like, that dude's like not a freshman. Like he, he hit like he was a senior his freshman year. I think he hit three, four of them. Uh, I just remember him raking balls all over the park. And everybody was like, dude, that dude is going to be another guy. You're just like, you, first time you watch him, you're just like, that dude is going to be legit. Anybody that can come in freshman year into the ACC and basically run the league and look like he's the stud on the field as a freshman, it, you know they're going to be uh, pretty successful. So just ridiculous. Put the bat on the ball. Everything he swung at, he hit hard, at least whenever I played him. So, um, And obviously he's had an unbelievable career. And the last guy, the last guy's kind of split. I put Carlos Gonzalez at first, and then I wanted to put, um, um, who did I want to put? I can't remember who I wanted to put now. Oh, Matt Holliday. Um, so I'll put them both in there. So two Rockies guys, I played against them in the major leagues, but Carlos Gonzalez, actually, I played against him a lot in the minor leagues. That's why I first put him on there, and then when I looked at the list, I was like, oh, but Matt Holliday really raked whenever I played him in the major leagues. And his batting practice was ridiculous. He used to hit rockets out of Coors Field, like off the back brick uh, concession stand thing. And he was huge. Um, but Carlos Gonzalez, so I played against him a bunch in the minor leagues. And I first played against him, I think he's with the A's and then with the Rockies. Was he with someone else too? I can't remember. I felt like every time I played him, he was on a new team. And I remember I kept being like, why does this guy keep getting traded? Like this guy kills us. And I can remember... I remember a lot of his at-bats, but I remember this one at-bat in AAA, like there's just sticks in my ha my mind. In AAA in Portland, in right center field, we had like this tree that was like, uh, like a cut-down tree. The soccer team was the Timbers, so I'm assuming they had like this little tree out there for the Timbers. They played in our stadium also, or we played in their stadium, I guess. And I remember first time I saw him in AAA at that stadium, he hit a ball that went about this high off the ground. <laughs> and went out of the park. It might have been the hardest ball I've ever seen hit. The thing just went, it was like a laser beam about 10 feet off the ground and it never went up and it never went down. It just literally went like, it went like this the whole way and it hit the tree stump out there and everybody was like, oh, like the ball was absolutely S-H-I-T on. And uh, it was just a rocket shot. And he did that a bunch in the minor leagues Obviously in the major leagues also, but I had I got to face a ton more in the minor leagues just because I was there for longer. And he was another guy. I was always like, why is this guy getting traded all the time? Why is he always playing on someone else's team? And why is he in the major leagues? Because he absolutely destroys every pitcher that pitches against him. And not long after that, he got called up and obviously had a really, really good career. So um, those are my top five or six guys. We'll put... We'll put Holiday and uh, and Carlos and Cargo together as my fifth um, player on that list. But uh, I wish I played longer so I could have seen more guys. And I faced other guys, you know, that if you guys put in the comment section below, other good hitters, I probably faced them at some point. But just not enough to really be able to gauge their true amazingness as hitters. 
like I said, pitching is just easier. You see somebody pitch real quick and you're like, okay, that guy's stuff is ridiculous. Hitting, you got to kind of see somebody. You might catch them on a bad day, an off day. Maybe they walk a few times, you know, so it's just a little bit tougher to judge those guys. But anyways, that's my list. Let me know what you think about it. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel if you're not done so already. Give us a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. Share the video with all your friends. Um, description box below, we've got a bunch of stuff going on. We've got a deal with Plate Crate. Where you guys can get 50% off your first Plate Crate. We've got, uh, you can support the channel with a link down there to our Patreon site. Uh, and then we also have a bunch of other stuff down there for you to check out as well. So do that. Let me know what you think. And uh, that's all I got. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And we'll talk to you later.